Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple shrimp scampi. Now, I love red lobster, but I only love red lobster for one reason, and it's that all you can eat shrimp scampi. <laughs> so let's get started. The ingredients for this particular recipe are very simple. You need, of course, your shrimp, or you can do chicken, because I do chicken scampi too now. You need some lemons or lemon juice. This is fresh garlic. I have my butter. Now I use a lot of butter, so you use that at your discretion. And that's unsalted butter. This is some white cooking wine. You can use broth in place of that. And these are my seasonings. Now when it comes to parsley, I love buying this, you all. It's fresh parsley. You can get it already chopped up. That way you don't have to, you know, do it yourself. Now in my pan, which I have on a medium high heat, I'm gonna start melting down some butter. Now for me, the more butter, the better, <laughs> but you use what you like. I'm also gonna add in just a little bit of my olive oil. Next, I'm going to add in my fresh garlic and I'm gonna cook that for just a few moments. Now you all know this is smelling good, honey. <laughs> After a few moments, go ahead and stir in your cooking wine or your broth, whatever you're using. Now I'm gonna stir this for a couple of minutes before we add anything else in because we just want it to cook down a little bit. We want it to reduce. So we're just gonna cook it for, um, you don't necessarily have to stir it, but um, I'm gonna stir mine. And I'll do this for a couple of minutes and then we'll go ahead and add in the rest of our ingredients. All right, next what I'm going to add in is my seasonings. And you just wanna add in whatever spices you like. If you just want to do salt and pepper, you can do just that. I'm using an all-purpose and I add a little bit of my Old Bay because I love Old Bay. I love that flavor. And the wonderful thing about cooking at your house is you can add whatever flavors that you like. There's no rules to that. I'm squeezing in some of my lemon now. So if you have your lemons or your lemon juice, just want to add that in. And you just want to add as much as you like. I'll be sharing the recipe to this. Of course, it'll be in my book, but you just want to add whatever or how much lemon that you like. I always recommend you start little or start start light with spices or flavors and then you can always increase it once you taste it, okay? So now you just wanna stir it. And the very last thing we're gonna add in is our shrimp. And believe it or not, honey, that is it. So let's add those shrimp in. And of course, shrimp only take just a minute to cook. So once I... Um, Add them in, you just want to stir, 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 stir it around a little bit. Don't overcook your shrimp. Shrimp literally only take a few minutes, if that long, because you see how they're already turning, okay? So once they're opaque, they're done. Look, pink, they're actually done, okay? You want a nice taste in shrimp, because they will get <laughs> rubbery and tough, and you don't want to do that. So I'm going to give mine a few minutes, and then I'll show you all the finished product. And here is our shrimp scampi. Simple, easy, and you all, I'm so glad I tasted <laughs> the sauce um, while I was off camera. You all, it is so tasty. I was gonna say you have to taste it to make sure the flavor is the way you want it before you serve it, so that's what I was doing. And man, it's so, so good. So I want you to give it a try, okay? And when you can't get to the all you can eat like me, I miss it every Monday, <laughs> every Monday. So now I can enjoy this. Now you can serve this over rice with pasta or just eat it by itself, but definitely give it a try. I wanna thank you all so much for watching and you have a wonderful blessed day.